Hey guys, so, been a while, sorry about that, I, uh, I don't, I think I recorded a vlog and just never got it uploaded and now it's kind of a moot point because it's been so long, so, hi, how you been? I'm tired. Middle of March, gone two months with these classes, I'm tired. For January and for February, I was a walking shin splint. It sucked. No other word for it. It sucked. Got a haircut. Got a haircut. It's not what I wanted. That's a story for another time. I'm in a good mood. I don't want to ruin it by talking about what I wanted and what I ended up getting. <sighs> Anyway, so uh, the, the, the rule of thumb that I forgot that day is don't ever go to a different hairdresser. Just stick with the one you got if they're doing a good job. Doesn't matter how simple you think the job is. Just don't. Okay, just don't. Not worth it. Not too upset, though, because it does look good. It looks good on me. It fits my face. Next time, next time I go, next time I go, I'm just going to go full pixie. I'm just going to go full pixie. I have always, always wanted a pixie. I've even got a pick picked out. I got a pick picked out. So, maybe next time you see me, I'll be pixied up. So, updates on fitness and health. I have made progress. I've made a lot of progress. But... Not as much progress as I'd hoped. Now, again, I'm aware that I'm not going to fix, you know, two years of, you know, bad habits in five months. I'm realistic, okay? That's just not going to happen unless you have major surgery. I'm... I've been frustrated to the point, though, where I can understand why people go the surgery option. Why they go the surgery option? Because when you put out the effort, when you put out so much effort, and you don't, and you, and time goes, and you don't see the results that you hoped you'd see, it's insanely frustrating. Hello, Discord. It's, it's maddening. It really is. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I've been 100% dedicated the entire time. If I just had one cheat day, that's enough to say that I have not been 100% dedicated the entire time. And, you know, let's face it, I've had more than one cheat day. But I've... I, but I wasn't, I haven't been eating junk, I haven't been, I haven't been drinking, you know, I've, I've slipped a couple of times and I had a Coke. And I don't know why, because they're gross, and I don't like them, it's that, it's that sugar. It's that sugar, it's all I can chalk it up to. Um, but I'm, I'm a lot stronger, I am a lot stronger, I have built muscles. I got muscles. Mm-hmm. So I've built a built a lot of muscle, but I haven't I can't see where I'm burning fat. And that's where I'm frustrated. Two months. Two months and two weeks. Well oh well no. A month and two months and one week because classes started the classes started the second week of January. So two months and one week and I can fit into my size twelve jeans, but that's it. That's it. And even with my dietary mishaps that I've had, and I've had some, I've had some, even 
being as careful as I was, I'll admit that there were moments that there were, I had slacked off. I slacked off. I thought I was doing better than I was. I thought I was doing better than I was. And I, I quit using my scale because I was afraid of what I'd see. I was afraid that I, that after all this effort, I wouldn't see the numbers change. And they really haven't. They haven't changed. I actually gained weight. I actually gained weight. But since Wednesday, this is Sunday. This is March 17th. Since Wednesday, I've lost four pounds of water weight. Four pounds of water weight. I did four days of, I'm not sure what you'd call it, maybe hard intermittent fasting? I guess you, I guess, uh, is, that, is that a thing? Is that something we can call this? Because I would not eat all day until I got to supper. And I would eat... I would eat enough at supper to, you know, it's intermittent fasting. You have that narrow window for eating, and then that's it. And I did that. Thursday, Friday, I did that. Yeah, started Thursday, and it, and it ended today because classes start up again tomorrow. I'm not going to do three classes, three gym classes, on absolutely nothing to eat. Not going to do that. I just don't see that ending well. And it was hard. But I wanted to see just what was going on. And, in, and since Wednesday, I lost four pounds of water weight. That's a lot of water. I didn't know that my that I was a freaking balloon. Surprise. Huh. So while I'm frustrated, I am frustrated. I'm not going I'm not upset, I'm not angry, I'm not giving up, I'm not saying, "Oh, it's not worth it. I'll just, you know, save up my money and get lipo. Get surgery." Not gonna do that. Not no, but I am frustrated. I am frustrated, and the only and not the only, but the main thing I can figure is that while these classes do get my heart rate up for an hour and beyond, apparently they're not as cardio intensive as I thought they were. Because, I mean, lifting weights, whether it's body weight or weight weights, that's good. That's great. That builds muscle. That's, it's, str it's strengthening. Yes. But every, but it's, it's, I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe everybody doesn't know this, but cardio is what you have to do. If you don't have cardio in there, then you, and yes, I know. I know that people, there are people who hate cardio. There are people who hate cardio and they get fantastic results and, you know, avoid cardio as much as possible and they get fantastic fitness results. But I'm one of those people that I need cardio. I need true cardio. I need walking. I need running. I need swimming. I need... I need all of that, apparently. And obviously these classes were more weight intensive, more, more, less cardio intensive, true cardio intensive, and more weightlifting intensive. Fell more into that category, I think. So what I've done, what I've done is I have increased my cardio. I've increased the cardio. I've 
I'm, oh my gosh, my weeks are insane. But I, I've unburied my treadmill again. The weather's warming up. And I can go to my favorite park. I can go to my favorite park and I can, I can start back doing my daily three miles that I was doing. Because just doing, just walking that summer, I was, I was getting smaller. So, stands to reason that with these weight, these lifting, these, because it's lots of squats, it's lots of lunges, it's lots of arms and abs, and yes, there's cardio, but apparently it's not enough. Apparently it's not enough. So, increasing the cardio, even if I, even if it's just 30 minutes, even if it's just 30 minutes, that's something, and I'm going to do my best to do that on a daily basis. Because I'm frustrated. I'm... I don't think there's a word in the English language for really what I am because frustrated doesn't quite cut it. But I'm trying, I'm trying to be kind to myself. I'm my own worst enemy. I've always been my own worst enemy. I say things to myself that no one else in the world ever would. And I'm working on that. I'm working on that. I'm working on being healthier all the way around. So, I'm being kind to myself, and I'm just allowing myself to just say frustrated. Because if I just call it frustration, then that's all. It, then that's all it simmers down to. I'm. I apparently wasn't being as strict with myself on my sugar intake as I thought. I definitely wasn't being as careful with my salt intake. Oh. M. G. I had no, this blew my mind. I was, my mother was helping me research, just health and fitness in general, and for someone who does not have high blood pressure, the amount of sodium you're supposed to have a day is twenty five hundred milligrams. One teaspoon of table salt has 2,300 milligrams. 2,300. And everybody knows salt is what helps you hold water. If I lost four pounds of water weight, how much freaking salt have I been eating? Your guess is as good as mine. Way too much. Way too much. So, I'm now sticking to an, I don't want to say diet, because diet implies a temporary thing. But I'm sticking, but now, I'm following the eating habits. There we go eating habits. There's just a good phrase, not diet, eating habits, of a diabetic with high blood pressure, which means I'm keeping my salt intake below, you know, at or below 1,500 milligrams a day, and aiming for absolutely zero sugar. And that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard. Even as much sugar as I've cut out, that's going to be hard. And if I think of something else to do, if, you know, something to just help me shed more water weight, then I'll throw that in the mix too. Because I, I want to be, I have a goal. I actually have a goal in mind. By summer, and by summer I mean May, graduation, that, that time, I want to be a size 10. I can fit into my 12s. I can fit into my size 12 jeans. 
I don't see why it would be impossible for me to be able to fit into my size tens. They may not be, you know, loose and saggy on me, but I want to be able to fit into my size 10 jeans and shorts. That's my goal. That's what I'm aiming for. And that... It's doable. The numbers add up. They recommend that you lose, you know... Two at you know two pounds, not water weight pounds, pound pounds. You know they recommend a health, a good, a healthy, fast weight loss. They say you know two pounds a week. I've got two weeks left in March, so if I can do that, that'd be four pounds. You're supposed let's say and to lose. To lose a pant size requires losing 10 to 20 pounds, roughly, something like that. The, the, numbers, were, the numbers were kind of squirrely, but they gave me enough to work with that between now and summer, I don't see a reason why I can't, I can't reach that goal, or at least get really darn close. You know, so that's that's what I'm aiming for. That's what I'm aiming for, and I'm going to be kind to myself. I'm going to be kind to myself, so that in the event I don't get there. I'm focusing I'm focusing on the progress more than I am the end goal because the for fitness for health there really is no end goal it's a lifestyle it's forever or not at all for me anyway I mean maybe some people can pick it up and drop it as they as they choose but I can't I have diabetes running in my family, both sides of my family. My dad has it, my grandmother has it. I've had grandparents, you know, my 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 dad's mom died of a massive heart attack. You know, they have you know, my my family has my my dad had a stroke. He's okay. It was mild. He's okay, thank God. But my family has health problems. So this, this is a lifestyle for me. It has to be. And so I'm focusing on that and giving myself a treat to work towards. That's, that's how I'm viewing it. That's how I'm viewing it. That... Fitting into a size 10 for summer, that's my, that's my, that's my treat. That's my sweet thing. That's my sweet thing. That's my reward. And then it just keeps on going. It just keeps on going. And I'm, I'm confident that this time, because I've always struggled with weight. I have always struggled with my weight. Even when I was smaller. Even when I was fitting into a size 8. It it did not take much at all for me to grow out of it. And by out of it, I mean sideways. <laughs> and around. It didn't take much at all. But as fast as I can gain weight, I know I can lose it. And that's what I'm focusing on. So, it's going to be super strict eating habits. Not diet. Not diet. I am not using the word diet. Eating habits. 
I'm going to be seriously policing my eating habits. And get my cardio in. Some true cardio in because apparently I'm not getting that. So, I'll try to check back in sooner than, you know, two months down the road. Or how long has it been? Has it been two months? Has it been one month? I don't know. I know that I kept trying to, <laughs> trying to check in and it just never happened. I'm still here. I'm still alive. Shocker. And for anybody that act that even for, for for anybody that's curious, uh I should have some more gameplay uploaded soon. Um I've been playing I've been playing uh Hellblade on top of Assassin's Creed and Final Fantasy, I've been playing Hellblade, Sinua's Sacrifice. Oh my gosh. That game. There are no words to describe that game. So I'll be uploading that as well. Um, again, a lot of my videos I record in bulk and then upload it a little along. So, if you see something... And you can't, and you, you let me know, and nothing changes in the next video, that's why. But I do read comments. I love comments. Thank you. Thank you for commenting on videos, Brom. And, uh, I can't. There's been a few. There's been a few. Not everybody talks to me, but I wish you would. But, anyway. Should have new videos out soon. Um gonna pick Skyrim up again. I think I might have to restart my Skyrim playthrough. I might have to restart that one. I don't know. Anyway, now I'm rambling. I'm tired and I'm rambling, so hope everybody has a good night. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.